guys okay so this video is pretty random i got a few things going on i'm going to show a couple of my sentimental christmas gifts that i really appreciate and i really needed and i was so thankful to have because i actually wanted those really really bad and i was going to buy them myself and I'm also going to be eating my dinner, which is some chicken. My son brought chicken home, so I just had a couple pieces because I'm really not that hungry. Because I'm going to be going to sleep early tonight. Um, I have to get up early, super early. And I also am going to be trying the new um, Kit Kat and doing some reviews on that. It's a... Uh, mocha chocolate Kit Kat. I'll be doing some reviews on that for mine. And then I'll also be trying this chip. And I heard it was really, really hot. So I don't do well with hot stuff the older I get. So we gonna see how that works out. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of my gifts that I got. I got a purse. Love the purse. Love the bow. Um, just my style. I love different. And thank you to my daughter for getting that for me. And I got a few other things like, like I have back problems, y'all. Yes, I hurt my back when I was in the service. And I've been living with like kind of chronic back pain. You, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know because I've learned to like just live with it. But I have back pain all the time. So, my younger daughter got me this, it's a, a massage, and it massaged the lumbar, which is what hurts on me, so it's a memory foam, so I'm going to probably, I haven't got to use it yet, I wanted to use it, but I got a movie that I'm getting ready to watch, probably tomorrow, um, before the New Year's, because I'm going to relax tomorrow, because I'm off. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to watch my movie. But wait, there's more. So also, because I, you know, I stand on my feet a lot at work. So she also got me this memory foam massage booties. And I can't wait. Like right there, I can like kind of feel them. They look so, they feel so soft. But I can't wait to put these on tomorrow with, um, my little covers tomorrow's gonna be a relaxing day for me so last but not least of my favorite gifts that i got for christmas is bath and body works who love bath and body works i love bath and body works so this is it's called the papa bubbly it's called papa bubbly and in here now i must warn you I've already used some of it, so I smell good. I used the body wash already, but it's like a book, and I'm a writer, so I thought this was really, really cute. But it's champagne toast is the scent. So this is pretty nice. So I'm very grateful for my gifts that I got. So I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick. And then I'm going to get to this chicken, kind of talk a little bit. Um, and plus, I want to ask too, like, because with my channel, like there was, like I said, so much that I wanted to do with my channel. Like, I don't want to just be, you know, a lot of people will say, just go have multiple channels. I don't have that kind of energy, even though I eventually probably will have a multiple channel because there's other things that I want to do. But I always wanted to do my things. I've always wanted to uplift people and I'm a writer. So eventually I want to have my movies on the channel. I don't want this to get into my chicken, but yeah. So this chicken came from, I don't even remember where he got it from because he was getting ready to go to, um, the VWs, but he didn't, so I don't know where he got it from. But it smells good, and it's good. And it's hot. 
I mean, well, it's a little spicy. So. Oh. I also want to send a shout out to my niece because the lashes that I have on, I love lashes y'all, but the lashes that I have on tonight came from her. She mailed them to me and I don't even feel like I got lashes on. They're really light. Like I love them. So if anybody is interested just put it in the comments below and then i'll forward her information to you but i'm going to put that out there because most of the lashes that i buy are heavy and i'm sitting there like this and i can feel them like on my eyes not these absolutely not so what is everybody doing for New Year's. I am so glad. To. Well, I haven't made it yet. But pretty close. I'm so glad. To be. Going into. Another year. Because it's kind of like a. That is. It brings on the energy of change. We're changing into a new year. And everybody's hoping to be changing into a better season than 2020 has been for all of us. Because it's so crazy, y'all. Like, who would have ever thought that we would be walking around with masks on? Isn't that crazy? I didn't realize how hungry I was. Mm. Because I've been running all day, so I didn't really have time to eat. I ate like a, a burrito earlier, a little, a little, a little burrito. But it's chicken, it's good. Mm. I wish I could share it with you. Mm -mm. But... Wherever he got these from, I will be getting some again, so they're good. But I'm just happy to be going into a new season with that mentality of going into a new season. Because I honestly always believe that no matter what is going on, every day is a new day to make a positive change or, you know, be great or change your life for the better. So I try to stick with that mentality, but I also want to just give energy to a new year of positivity because we still having to walk around with masks. People are still um, catching the virus and people that you know and family members of people and can go out and celebrate like you normally would. Um, it's just crazy. That's all. It really is. But for the most part, we're still here. Sorry, y'all. I forgot to turn my uh, other phone down. But I've been trying to really just stay focused on I, I've been just trying to stay focused on goals, you know? I'm trying to stay out of that. I'm trying to hurry up these chicken because I'm ready to get to them chips. 
Mm. <laughs> got me some water. I got two water. Actually, I got three water. I'm ready. Like, because I remember one time I tried a hot pepper. I call myself doing a hot pepper challenge. And that pepper was so hot. It like stayed, the burn stayed with me. It was crazy. Milk didn't even help. And I remember saying to myself, I ain't gonna ever do that again. My heck no. Oh my God. But y'all, um, that was good. So I'm gonna set this to this side. Actually, I'm gonna set this right here. And now I'm going to get to this Kit Kats. So, I mean, I don't know if these are all over right now, but I just kind of seen it at the store today randomly and was like, oh, I'm going to try that. It's a pretty wrapper. That's what attracted me to it. Oh, it got like, it's, let me show you. It's it's kind of pretty. It's got like little swirls. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Turn the light off. But yeah, it smells like mocha and caramel. Like it smells like coffee. That's what it smells like. I wonder if it tastes like coffee, but chocolate at the back. Bam. Let's see what it do. It tastes like it smell. Definitely reminds you of coffee. Puts you in the mindset of coffee. The chocolate isn't overpowering. The what is that at the top right here? Yeah, I guess the top is the the mocha. And bottom is the chocolate and I have to be honest it's good I mean it's like really good to where I want to keep eating it so I'm going to go ahead and eat one more I was just going to try it because I want to get to the chips but I'm going to have one more so if, so if you like chocolate and you like mocha or if you like if you like Dunkin Donuts, um, caramel or frappe, mocha frappes, that's what it tastes like to me. That's the mindset it puts me in, the flavor of the caramel mocha um, latte, you know, iced coffees. Mm, and I love those, so I would definitely be going back to your store and buying probably the whole box. <laughs> Because I get so mad because I go to the stores. I find something that I like because I'm a foodie. <clears throat> a foodie. Let me be clear. I'm a foodie. I love food. I love to try new foods and, and new uh, snacks or new drinks. or I just love. I'm a taste. I'm a food tester. So when I find something that I really, really like and then I go back to get it. And then they ran out because it's so good or whatever. I kind of like get, I get disappointed. So now I'm to the point where I'm so scared of that happening. If I find something I really like, I overbuy. And then I don't end up eating all of it. I end up like giving it away, you know, to where they be sick of it at that point. Because, you know, after eating something so many times, you get sick of it. Um, especially if you eat it too much, but those are definitely, that Kit Kat is good. So, oh my God. Dum, 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 dum. All right, so I've been wanting to try this. It's kind of like a challenge, but I've been, um, wanting to try these. These are the... Freaking hot. So I guess on the back, if as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but they have like levels. 
So these are the freaking hots. As hot as they get. So this isn't new. They used to be new, but they're not new anymore. But it's new to me because I've never tried them. I was actually at the store looking for the the one chip challenge. I was actually wanting to do that. But anyways, I'm not gonna delay anymore. Oh, there we go. Because I want to try these so bad. I'm scared. But I even, like I, I heard that peanut butter will calm down uh, the taste. So I didn't have no yogurt. So I brought me up some peanut butter just in case and my water's. It kind of smells, it kind of smells a little hot, but then it kind of just smells, I don't know what, how to describe that smell, but it says the haunted ghost pepper. And it's crazy because it says on the back, we're bringing the heat and it hurts so good. Do you dare? Yes, I dare. Let me add it. Okay, so. The chip got like. Well, this chip got a lot of seasoning on it, so it might be hot. Do I might want to put that one to the side? Um, no, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to taste it. So. Here goes nothing. Let's see what these chips do, y'all. They taste like a tortilla chip. Like, I don't know if you back in the day had the tortilla chips that round have a little spice to it. Like, it's kind of burning my tongue. But so far, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and be brave and eat another one. Because so far, there's a little spice to it, definitely. It's, it's almost like it's getting in my nose. But let me see. kind of like it's not hot in the mouth but it is kind of on the tongue but once it start going <clears throat> once it starts going down your throat that's where it burns but i'm trying to like like it has a a tur there's really not like a flavor it's just hot like a pepper like there's like no there's a little seasoning on it but it's more like a like you bit a pep an actual pepper. That's what it's starting to feel like. Yeah, let me try. It's weird because I want to keep eating them, and I think it's because I'm hungry. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so hungry. I just ate four. Uh, wings and piece of a cheek cat. Maybe haven't reached my stomach. I don't know, but this is hot y'all. But it's not. It's not like. Oh my god, I'm about to die. It is burning my lips right now. Okay, it's getting worse. I said I was going to try to eat the whole bag or pretty close to it. I don't think that's going to happen because my lips are starting to burn. <clears throat> my lips <clears throat> and my throat start to burn. 
you know what? I'm not. I don't think I'm. I think I'm gonna just eat one more because the more I eat, the harder it's getting. I don't know if I should eat. do this. I think I'm gonna be out if I eat one more. And this would be a good challenge because if you challenge somebody to eat this whole bag, <clears throat> oh my god. It's it like it's good, but it's hot. I like them, but I think I would have to like <clears throat> dip them in some some kind of cheese or some kind of sauce to counteract that that burn. <clears throat> it, like I say, it's weird because <clears throat> it's not a spicy hot. It's a I just really, I'm over here eating a whole hot pepper type of feel. Them peppers that you get from Popeye's chicken. Times two. <clears throat> My lips are burning. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to like trip out. <clears throat> no starting to run. <clears throat> I think I try to eat some peanut butter. See what this peanut butter do. Should I have it open? <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know, maybe Lips burn. Burn. Oh, I might have to bite this. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Why does hot stuff make your nose run? Okay. Here we go. Peter Bar. I just want to put it on my little. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Mm, I love peanut butter. <clears throat> peanut butter kind of not working. My lips are still burning. Whoever said peanut butter? Uh-uh. Oh, man. I should have got some yogurt or something. Because <laughs> my lips are so burning now. And my throat is burning. <clears throat> My back of my tongue is burning now. It's like, I get it. They want something hot, but I guess everybody's different. Maybe it's not as hot as, or it doesn't have that effect on everybody, but to, oh my God. And it's, it's weird because it, It's like a a burn that creeps up on you. Cause at first it wasn't really it wasn't too bad. It was a mild burn, but I can't see me eating a whole bag of those without no like something to counteract it, like some dip or something. But I, I won't give them a bad rating because they did a lot. <laughs> they definitely gave me a warning. <clears throat> they um they definitely live up to their name. Um, and it's almost like it's kind of burning my throat and my stomach a little bit. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to drink this water. Ooh. I don't even think water is going to do it. It'll probably soothe my stomach area. Oh yeah, okay. So the water actually kind of soothed my stomach because it was starting to burn too once it was down there. But if you wanna try it, have at it. If you're young, please don't try this. Without adult supervision is what I say. But I don't know, because when I was younger, I had a higher tolerance for hot stuff. 
So, because I know I used to eat hot Cheetos, like they was going out of style. But yeah, I'm good on those. And I'm actually going to close out now. If you made it to the end, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's definitely more to come. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos, please hit that like button. Please, please, please. Because without you, the champ is nothing. You're a champ. I'm a champ. Everyone's a champ. <laughs> that is corny. I don't know where that came from, but I'm random. So, all right. So, I'm going to close this out. But again, have a wonderful evening. Happy New Year. I'll probably try to post again tomorrow. But I'm going to close out now. So, champ is out.